guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I'd just go ahead and share with you guys how I organize all of Aiden's clothes because he is now six months. Can you guys believe it? He is crawling, he is holding himself up, and he's just on the go these days. So clearly he has outgrown all of his clothes that are inside his dresser because I did put all of his newborn zero to three months and three months clothes in there. So it's a little overdue, honestly, for me to just take out all of those clothes and replace them with clothes that actually fit him. Because even though I do have his current clothes inside the closet, I do think it's a little bit easier for me to get him dressed if they were inside the dresser. So before I go ahead and take everything out and whatnot, I thought I'd just go ahead and show you guys how I have everything organized, how I fold his clothes. In case you guys are expecting, or if you're just curious to see how I organize things, what all I keep inside his dresser. So I thought I'd just go ahead and share that with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the dresser we are working with. It is from the Delta brand at Target. We actually bought this one when we had Kaylee. So this was her old dresser. And it has the little changing top pad thing here at the top. So we just went ahead and used it for Aiden. I know it has a little of this uh, beading here at the top, which makes it a little girly, but I mean, it's working perfectly. There was no need to go out and spend more money on a boy dresser, I guess. We might as well just wait till he gets his toddler room and then we can buy him a whole set of new furniture. But yeah, so let me show you guys what is in the first drawer. So in the top drawer, we have these little dividers to divide these three sections here. These do not come with the dresser but we got these at Lowe's and you can just extend them to um, fit the width or whatever of your drawers so we just use those to separate these three spots here in the left compartment we have some of this honest company um, face and body lotion this is in the lavender scent so we use this one every time we give him a bath this helps him wind down and get ready to go down for the night and then we also have some more lotion we have this Cetaphil baby daily lotion over here we have some diaper rash cream. This is a triple paste. And honestly, this is our favorite. We've tried quite a few of them and this one works the best out of them all. We also have some Vaseline that we honestly don't ever use. We used this one when he was a newborn and had his circumcision, but we don't really use that anymore. We also have some of this um, gripe water with the syringe. This is the Zarbies brand. We also don't use this one anymore, but we did early on when he was colicky as a newborn, but we don't need this anymore, luckily. Back here, I have some more nursing pad samples. Like, I use these and I still have quite a few of them, so that's what I have back here. And I will say this, dresser, one thing I really don't like about it is that this is as far as the drawer goes, so even though there's a little bit more space back here, the drawer doesn't fully come out so it's sometimes kind of hard to reach the things in the back but other than that it's a pretty good dresser here in the middle we have all of his diapers like i said he is now six months almost seven months now and he is using the honest company diapers these are again one of our favorite diapers to use this is a very good brand and we've never had any problems with it no blowouts or anything so we really love these and Aiden is already in the size 4, I believe. This these are, yeah, he's in the size 4. So these are his diapers in the middle. Over to the right section, we have some disposable changing pad liners. So I will just throw these in my diaper bag and take with me in case I need to change them out in public restrooms. But right now, we haven't been using any of them because obviously we are quarantined. We're not leaving the house. So I just have a couple of those here. And then this little bag, I just store his uh, nose Frida and the little extra refills that we have for him. So that's in here. And back here, I have this um, white little bin from the Dollar Tree, just with all of the things that they gave Aiden at the hospital. So his little comb, he has also the armband that they used to take his pressure and all of that his name tags or arm tags, whatever. I don't know what you call these things, but I just have them here because I did order him a personalized keepsake box where I will be storing all of this for him. And it did come in so I can show you guys um, after I show you this dresser what that looks like because I am honestly in love with it. It is so cute and I cannot wait to put it together. But yeah, that's what I have here in this little bin back here. And then here I have some of the diaper pail refill bags. Over here, I also have another one of those um, 
bulb syringes. This is like the Nosferita to where you can see everything that's in here. But this is more of a traditional style that you can, um, I don't know, it's a bulb syringe. You can actually open this up here and clean it out. So I have this and to use with that, I have some of these Little Remedies saline spray drops. These are very good. I also have a nail filer, so I really, really love this and recommend it to any mom out there because it's much easier and safer to use than a traditional nail clipper. So I really, really love this and you can find this on Amazon. I think it's actually around $12 or so. I will try to leave the link to most of these products in case you guys are interested. It comes in other colors as well. So if you have a girl, they do have a pink one. And then we have a little pair of sunglasses. These are some babyators. Again, this is a hand-me-down from Kaylee. She had these and now they're Aiden's. I have a few of these trial size um, Johnson & Johnson's head to toe body wash and then some lotion and then you can't forget some sanitizer so these are from the honest company i really love these as well pretty much all of the honest company products i really do love so yeah that's all that's in this first drawer now to actually get to the clothing in the second drawer to better organize this drawer i have some of these dividers and these i got from ikea i think the set comes in six if i'm not mistaken it has two of these smaller ones so two of these little um square ones lost the sock there we have it also has two of these um longer bigger squares and then two of these more narrow ones so i just have these in here very easy to take out and just organize everything so over to the left we have like i said this little small bin and here's where i keep all of aiden's socks and then back here i have another container and here i have his um sleeping sacks so this is the one we used when he was like a newborn newborn this is a swaddle me one and it's just one of those sacks where you um put your baby in there and then it has the velcro over here and you just wrap them up in there like a burrito it's easier to use than your normal muslin blankets or blankets for that matter so we use this one and then um this one is what he uses now i think back here i have the other one because it didn't fit in here but this is the one that we used after this one so once we were trying to transition him into being unswaddled since he started rolling over around three months and this is from the halo brand this is the sleep sack swaddle and once again, this one also has the Velcro, but this one, unlike the previous one, you can leave their arms out and just kind of swaddle their torso so that they're um, learning to transition out of a swaddle. So that's what we use this one for. And then once he was fully out of swaddles, we use this sleeping sack because it's just safer for him to sleep at night. We don't have to worry about him pulling the blanket over his head or anything. And this one's from the Aiden and Anai brand. It's also a thinner, more breathable material, especially for like summertime. You don't need a thick blanket. So this is the one we use and I just keep those in that basket because once again, we are not using them right now when we were i obviously only had one of these at a time in there the others were inside of the closet and then further into this little um container here we have his little hat so this is his little um newborn hat from his coming home outfit with his name on it we also have his santa claus hat and just you know a few other hats um this one's from the hospital another little hat oh and I actually have this one in here. I didn't even remember this. Yeah, we used this one when he was a newborn. I think this is the newborn size. I can't really remember, but we used both this one and this other great one. So we would alternate this one. So I think this one was more when he was a newborn because I think he was a little too small to use this one. But yeah, either way, we have pretty much been using sleep sacks all of his life. We really love these. So now for these three sections of the drawer over here is where I have all of his newborn stuff. So these are all of his newborn onesies, all the little shirts, and I just can't believe my baby grew so fast. Look at this little cute one I shared in my baby boy uh, newborn haul. This is a super cute one, and I have actually bought this one in all the sizes up until 18 months because this is the one he has been wearing for his monthly photos and it's just super cute i actually didn't purchase this one originally 
with the idea of doing that but after I did his one month picture I just thought I needed to go ahead and get the rest of the sizes so that I can continue having him wear that for the rest of his monthly photos so as you can see I pretty much have all of these onesies to where I can see what shirt it is from the tops so I can just pull out whatever shirt I was looking for without having to um, make a mess if I had them like say this way whereas I could only see the top shirt and would have to pretty much remove all of the other ones to get to the lower ones. I find that having them folded this way just lets you see every single shirt and makes it easy to you know just choose whatever you want to have for your baby and I fold them like this so pretty much just in thirds so I'll take the bottom piece make sure at least one of these buttons is you know um, button in so that it's not moving around and then I will take the little sleeves fold them in and then fold that to make it into thirds and then I can easily tell that this is the one that says El Jefe so then I'll just take this and put them in here but I mean it's still a pretty good system and I think this is the KonMari method of fold I don't even know I know I just um, started folding them as small as I could and having these things face up to where I can see what these shirts were so that's how I have all of his onesies over here and like I said these are all the newborn size and then these are all his newborn pants and these are just folded in half so these little small pants I have them folded in half and then once again I just have them to where they're easily accessible and you can see which pants you have now in this little unit pretty much the same thing as that one except those were newborn here i have all of the zero to three months and three months shirts so i just have them all folded the same way so once again you know in the three um trifold or whatever you want to call that so just these little shirts as such and i just think it looks very aesthetically pleasing and it also makes it pretty easy to find whatever it is that you're trying to find in the last drawer so the bottom one i pretty much have once again those um containers from ikea so here to the right i have all of aiden's little washcloths and birth cloths and i just have these um folded as small as i could so like this and then just pretty much have them standing there so every time i need one i can easily grab one from there it's so easy that even Kaylee every time I needed one sometimes I'd be like okay Kaylee can you go bring me a little um washcloth and she would come in here grab one and give it to me very easily and then here we have some of his burp cloths I only have two in here because I have the rest in the laundry so I have to wash them because we still do use them even though Aiden doesn't do much of throwing up or um spitting up anymore but he is drooling from all the teething so sometimes I will just take one of these and use it to wipe him down when he doesn't have a bib on or whatever in the middle section I have all of his uh sleepers so all of these are the newborn and then the further back it goes up a size so then like the newborn zero to three and then i have the three months back here and once again it is a little bit hard to get them out because this drawer doesn't pull out anymore but i do have a few over here and you know all these sleepers come in very handy when you have a little newborn because they're probably the most comfortable and easy to put on them and i really did love all of these these are from target they have the zip up and then they also have some elastic here at the bottom of the foot so that when they curl their little foot up, their foot is not just dangling up here in the little footy part down here. It actually stays on their little ankle. And here in a little bit, I will show you guys how I fold these pretty much the same as the onesies and thirds, but I'll show you in just a little bit. And then over to this side, I have all of the pants once again in one of those more narrow containers. So I have all the pants folded in half and you can easily see which ones they are and just, you know, choose it out, put it right back in, slide it in there. So all of his pants in here and then a few other ones here off to the side because they didn't fit in here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it's pretty easy. Once again, all of his pants, I simply fold them in half or whatever is the smallest I can get them to fit according to, you know, the depth or width of the drawers. So that's how I fold all of the pants. Now to show you for the onesie, let me close this up real quick. So just a little recap on how I fold the clothes for the onesies. I like to do it in thirds. So I'll pretty much just imagine this in thirds. I'll usually take it from here. Make sure once again that one of these is buttoned. That way it'll make it easier. So I'll just fold that there. Take the arms, 
fold them in and then just fold this over top and then I'll simply place it like this inside of the drawers. For the sleepers, I will pretty much do the same thing, do it in thirds. So I will take the bottom and just flip it over like this with the legs going inward. And then I will take the arm pieces, fold those two in like that, and then fold this over so that it's in thirds as well. And then I'll do the same, just put it this way inside of the drawers. For the little pants, I will just take them, fold them in half, and then fold them into two. Now, if it's a bigger size or longer, then I'll do three, but three for a newborn, that is way too small in my opinion. It'll, it would definitely be too small and get lost with all the height difference here. So I just like to do it in the half size. So then I'll do that. And that is how I organize my baby's clothing. So all his little pants, sleepers, and onesies, all the blankets, shoes, um, sweaters. I just have those inside the closet. And real quick, I just want to show you guys the keepsake box that I was telling you guys that I got made for him. And this is super cute. It is just um, going to be a nice little thing to give him when he's a little older. And it has his name engraved, his um, stats, the time he was born, how much he weighed, the day, his um, length and everything. And then these cute little prints. And it also has a little hinge so that I can just put everything in here. So it's super cute. If you guys are interested in seeing a video where I show everything that I um, put inside of this box, I can definitely film that for you guys. Just let me know down in the comments if that is something you guys would be interested in. And that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe found it helpful. If you are an expecting mom and maybe you wanted to get an idea of how to organize your up and coming baby's clothes, or if you already have a baby and maybe you want to change your layout. So thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. This little guy, he's getting antsy. You wanna leave? Say bye bye. Say thank you for watching. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys. Say I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy. <laughs>